Hello everybody, this is MPAV from the MX Linux forums. I wanted to talk today about getting access to LVM vo um, volumes using the MX Live USB, however you want to boot it, where it might be CD, USB, or otherwise. Now, MX Linux doesn't have by default um, access to LVM volumes. However, it's actually really easy to get in there. So I'll just show you very quickly what I've got and what I'm starting with. Here I have my VirtualBox manager, and I am running a turnkey appliance called Simple Invoices. So I'm, instead of running it in its uh, in its native state, I'm running MX Linux live in there through a plugged-in disk. Those who understand VirtualBox will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and close this, and we can get started. What I want to do is I want to see what the what the contents of the drive look like. So, uh, if or if I wanted to make modifications to them as well. So what I want to do is I want to access them, and I'll show you first off um, what happens when we try to get access. Well, as you know, if there's any drive plugged into a system, it can show up here. But uh, I've got my home folder um, available as well. Um, but let's not go there. That's This is the file system. When we go through the file system, we go through dev, and we go through uh, disk. By ID, we see we have nothing but the CD, virtual CD-ROM drive. Nothing's actually labeled here that we can work with. So we have to make sure that MX Linux can pick up the thing that we're looking for, which is, of course, a disk. I'm going to go ahead and open Gparted. So P-A-R-T, there it is, Gparted. Put in root for the password because I'm running live. And what we see here is we have got a LVM, a boot. These are my flags. It's a boot and an LVM partition. So it's about 20, it's a 20 gig uh, virtual drive, and of that, the lion's share is an LVM partition. Of course, when I try to click on that, or if I go right here and right click here and click on information, what it tells me here is unable to read the contents of this file system. Because of this, some operations may, may be unavailable, etc., etc., missing software package, uh, following list packages required for LVM2 PV file system support. It's LVM2. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, and look at getting that installed. So of course you can go through Synaptic, although I do find the terminal a little bit faster. So I'm going to go and use the terminal route. I'm just going to make the terminal window a little bit bigger because I want to see a little bit more of the output as it's in operation. Okay. Now I'm not a sudo user. I keep getting myself tripped on tripped up on there. So I'm just going to use su instead. Su for super user and my password root and um, apt get update. There we go. Some updates coming through. They come through nice and quick. Uh, now I'll move on to the next thing. Apt get install LVM2. That's a package that we're told we needed. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Uh, it's asking me if you want to continue. The Y here is capitalized, which simply means if I just press enter on the keyboard, that's the character that's chosen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to go and install it. Now the installation goes through a bit of a routine where um, towards the end of the installation, it will look for contents in etc f stab, and it's not going to find them in a throw up an error. Now that's not a concern at all. So here we are, generating boot init at the end of the bottom of the screen. Here's the warning, could not determine root device from etc f stab. That's exactly what I was talking about, but it finishes without any further errors. So what that tells me straight away is LVM is installed. Now LVM is actually a service, so I'm going to go ahead and start that service. Service LVM2 start. There we go. It's all started. Um, but of course, is that has it made a difference we want? Let's go and have a look see again, shall we? So I pop in here, oh, nothing's changed. So I go here again, go dev disk by ID. <gasps> We've still only got a CD ROM drive. Okay. Actually I knew that anyway, I was just teasing. So let's see what we can do about this then. You know, I found there's a cheats way, um, which I will show you guys for your benefit, uh, that we can get this to get we can get the volume to pop up by using Gparted. So I go ahead and open Gparted, give the root password again, 
and it'll take a little while to read the partitions this time because there's got more plugins to use. So give that a moment to do so. And when it's done, done that, we'll see that there is a lock on the partition. And here it is here, LVM2 PV, but it's locked. So I'm going to go ahead now and open the file manager. What, we, what I want you to do is focus on this as I operate with Synaptic. Oh, sorry, as I operate with um, Gparted. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and tell it to deactivate. Now you can do this by the command prompt. Um, my goal here is to show you guys, um, especially guys who like the GUI, uh, how to very simply do this. Now from what we see here, nothing seems to have changed. We have got a mount point here, turnkey, but let's, because uh, nothing's changed, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And there it is. Up here, the 18 gigabyte volume has now appeared. We can now mount that again, root. We're in there and I am now perusing the contents of that file system. I can go ahead and modify if I really want to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and open the root thuna and password root again. Boom, we are now in a position where I can go ahead and modify um, the contents of this file system by direct access to it. So that gives us a very quick and easy way to access simple LVM mod, um, volumes. Now I haven't gone through the process of, of you know, having multiple disk spans or anything like that, but this is just a simple volume, a really simple trick to open a simple, like I said, a very simple logical volume drive. You can have drive sets, but this is actually a, a straight drive at this point. So, I mean, just to prove it, let's let's pop in. Um, we'll pop into the home. Of course, there's nothing in this one here. It is a Debian-based distribution, so we know our way around it quite well. Um, var, dub, 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 and that's what we're looking for there, simple invoices. It is a turnkey appliance, so um, I have already been in, and uh, I wanted to replace this with this, which is just a later copy, uh, no more. Uh, this is no, really not, not serviced anymore. Um, it's pretty much, it seems to have dried up where this has been a bit more active and I just want to try this in its place. I'm not going to do anything right now because there's a lot more involved to that, but for the, but for the time being, sufficient to say is that we have gained access to that volume. So let me go ahead and, uh, and show you again. Oh, of course I can't, I can't unmount it. Um, the quick steps, right click, document, empty file. So. Go ahead and open this file. So process is really, really simple. Um, oh no, fire up MX Linux. You can see I'm not the best typist. Gosh, sorry to have to be correcting all these mistakes in front of you guys. Fire up MX Linux. Make sure the internet is connected. Make sure internet this is meant to be into -E -N. make sure internet is connected. Um, install LVM2. Okay. And then start LVM2 as a service. Cool. Now there's some checking you can do which I didn't bother doing because I know it works. Um, but uh, we won't get into that too much. Start LVM2 as a service. Um, fire up GPARTED. Fire up GPARTED. Locate LVM type. Locate LVM type file system. Uh, D. Uh, oh, sorry, this wrong key. Right click and deactivate. I'm only going by memory, so I might not have the right word here. And then close GPART, close GPARTED, and check in, check in Thuna. There we go, nice and easy. One more thing I do want to show you, and I'm going to do that again by the terminal. Apt get store system config LVM. Now 
if you want to get a really good look at logical volume logical volumes um, this is actually a kind of cool tool to do it with system config lvm so i'm going to go ahead and install that oh, of course i do this every time i told you i'm not a sudo so i just go sudo and demo is a password off we go and install it cool so we can run it from the from here if we want to or we can run it from the menu so i'm going to click on here and lvm logical volume management click in there we'll just throw this thing away and there we see a really really neat tool that represents volume groups so first of all physical view this is a physical view here and uh, uh, logical view here sorry it's got the word logical view and physical view so I'm going to go ahead and click on physical view and then drill down to STA1 dev STA1 and it shows you the physical layout of the drive go to logical view and it's a little bit different the logical view shows a different layout on the drive now you can do things like rem add remove volumes create new logical volumes etc uh, so this is a nice gooified way of doing that click on root click on swap one as you can see um, there's plenty of things you can play with here uh, if you're into volume management but with a simple volume like this um, you probably don't get enough to work with but uh, hey if you want to go and experiment with this go and have fun man that's what open source is all about okay so I just want to show you that so I'll just type that in here again um, system config LVM okay that's just for those people who want to take notes I'll leave that there for a few seconds before I sign off okay hope that's been of some use to some people and uh, we'll catch you later later on at least on the forms maybe Bye for now.